Hi, I'm Amber with wonderbaby.org and what I wanted to do today was show you how you can take a really good app and make it even better using some of the accessibility features built into the iPad. So I'm going to go into my son's music apps and bring up Jukebox. This is a really simple app. It's really fun. It has these buttons around the circle. You press a button, you get to hear the song. You get to see a little animation. Um, so, the pluses. This is a music app. Lots of kids are really motivated by music. It's a choice app. You get to choose which song you want. You can work on um, isolating a finger, pressing a button, turning the button, pressing the button turns it on, pressing the button again turns it off. Those are really good things for a kid to be working on for them to learn. Some of the downside might be there are a lot of buttons, so there are a lot of choices. It might be easier if you could just start with two buttons so that your child is just working on do they want to hear Ring Around the Rosie or do they want to hear Wheels on the Bus. Um, yellows and reds are really good for some kids with visual impairments. For other kids, this app might, be, um, might not have enough high contrast, depends on your child. Uh, and the other problem is that since this is a free app, we have this button up here to get the full album, which takes you into the app store and allows you to buy more songs. Um, you don't really want your child hitting that button while they're trying to choose a song because next thing you know, they're in the app store and you don't really want to buy more songs at the moment. So what we can do to make this app more accessible is go into settings, go into accessibility, and we're going to turn our guided access on. I already have it on. And you're going to want to set a passcode. And I always advise you set your guided access passcode to 1234 because you want it to be something easy to remember. Trust me, it's not a password, it's just a passcode. Um, the other thing we can do is invert the colors of the iPad and see if that makes the app a little bit more high contrast. Now we're going to go into the app again and for some kids those buttons might show up a lot better than they did when they were in yellow and red because now it's dark blue on light blue. So you can play with it and see if, with your child is this something that they respond to better. Um, now that we're in here I want to use guided access so you have to triple click the home button and that should bring up guided access. There we go, one, two, three, four. And so the way this works is you um, draw a box around the stuff you don't want your child to touch. So I don't want my child to touch the Get the Full album. So I'm going to draw a box around it. And that box isn't quite big enough, so I'm gonna see if I can Bring it down a little bit, get it right there. Okay, so now that's grayed out. They're not gonna be able to touch it. I hit resume, and now that I'm in the app, they can't touch the get the full album button. We can also do, it's a three finger double tap, which zooms us in. We use all three fingers to move. If you just use one finger, it won't move. You have to use all three fingers on the screen to move. So now I can put it in a position where this button isn't going to do anything because I've grayed that out using guided access. I've only got two choices. Do you want to listen to Wheels on the Bus or do you want to listen to Ring Around the Rosie? And you can still see the animation. So now you're trying to listen to Wheels on the Bus. And there you go. Here we go on the bus. It makes it a much go simpler app. Um, so you can play around with those features. If you double tap again, you get out of that. Triple click again, you can get out of your guided access. Hit end. Um, you play around with the different features and take an app that's already really good for your child and make it so that it's even better, so that it's really designed just for them and the things that they're working on. And I'm going to stay in inverted colors because I think this looks neat. And go into Safari and look at that. Wonderbaby.org and inverted colors. I love those colors. If you're looking for more information, you can go into Wonderbaby.org. Purple. Go to iPad app. 
up at the top of the page. And you can find our top 10 iPad and iOS 7 accessibility features where I talk in more detail about the sort of things you can do with an iPad to make them accessible. And if you scroll down, you'll find reviews of our favorite iPad apps that are really good for kids who are visually impaired or cognitively delayed. And I hope that helps.